expansion is life, contraction is day. This must be done. Expansion is life, contraction. We are software programmers. The first program that we write is Hello World. In any programming language that we learn. So this here I am with my Hello World in the language of Toastmasters, my icebreaker. Hello everyone. I'll try and give you a glimpse of my life so far, and I've tried to divide it into four phases. Phase one, you were exchanged. I'm sure everybody who's present in this room, whoever has an elder sibling, at least once in their lifetime must have heard that you were adopted or you were picked up from the garbage can. Mine was a little different. They said I was exchanged. There's a story behind it. Late 1970s, Bareilly, UP, a very heavily pregnant Dogra woman was being taken away to an army hospital, tagging along her two boys, aged three and six. Her husband was away at the line of duty, serving the nation. Then after the delivery, the nurse came out to the OT and she asked, Ma'am, how many children do you have? She said, I have two boys. Oh, congratulations, ma'am, you have a daughter. And the lady on the edges in bed, she was given a baby boy. That very instant, my brothers decided I was never ever their sister. <laughs> I was exchanged. God has been kind. After a long gap of four years, my younger brother came, who was not witness to this fantasy and the fairy tale and the family drama in the hospital. So he accepted me wholeheartedly the moment he opened his eyes. I was his best sister, and he was my best brother. Till date, he is the closest confidant of mine. <laughs> Phase two, the schooling starts and Vandana becomes Bondana. <laughs> Growing up in an army household has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages because we had to move, pack our belongings and move to a different station, a different location, which meant a new school, a new station, new set of friends, new environment, which was geographically also different. It was difficult as children, but then, it helped us, the advantages that it had. It made us adapt to changes very quickly, make new friends. We were able to learn new languages which were local to that state. We were able to adjust to different climates very easily. We could learn the local cuisine, we could learn the local, pick up the local culture, which has helped us in building the character that we have today. In one such situation, when my dad was posted in Guwahati, my schooling was to start. One clerk, who was originally a Assamese, he decided to spell my name as Bondona instead of Vandana. And as destiny would have it, after uh, 25 years down the line, I was destined to marry a Bengali, and the no name remained Bondana. Probably that was destiny. <laughs> Growing up in an army household, again, with the we, our lives were run in a very military, like discipline and perfection types. Our outdoor activities included learning more on the life-saving skills. We were supposed to learn swimming, shooting, go for learning bikes, drive cars, and horse riding as well. Sports like badminton, tennis, or basketball, football were routine. My brothers ensured that I play with them and don't mix with girls and pick up those girlish habits. They made sure and ensured that I become the personality kind, not the pretty kind. <laughs> that stuck with me and helped me build the character that I am today. Phase three, career, college, marriage and life and kids. After completing my schooling from North, East, West, South of India, I finally settled in Jodhpur <laughs> and started to complete, start in my graduation and post-graduation. That is where I met my husband, in a hot summer afternoon, where the temperature outside must have been 50 plus, Cupid struck in the Horlich computer lab. <laughs> we fell in love, and after four years of courtship, we got married. We moved to Mumbai, started a career, started working in the same company. Life was rocking, work life was good, family life was good, till one day we realized my first son has decided to arrive, and early, that too. But then, I took a decision, I stepped back and let my husband drive me home for the way. Someone once said, we all make choices, but in the end, it's the choices that make us. 
I took the right decision, stepped back, put my uh, professional life on the back burner, but I enjoyed every bit of being a hands-on mom. I spent every minute with seeing my children grow. Life was coming back to the track. My second son was born after a gap of two years and my hands were full up, but I enjoyed every bit of it. Phase four, second innings career. <laughs> when my children got their wings, they started spending time outside the home, in the school, in the company of their friends, and doing some extracurricular activities. I realized, why not give my career a second shot? With a little bit of hesitance and a little bit of some stumbling, I started working again, joined back. I've been working for almost eight years now after a sabbatical <coughs> of eight years. Which is... <coughs> now, when I sit back and realize and I weigh what I have gained and against what I have lost. So I speak to myself. Everything in life comes with a price. Life itself is a series of... <laughs> life itself is a series of what do you say, transitions. But then my decision of coming back and having a life for myself, that was no exception. Whereas motherhood has taught me how to appreciate small things in life, to have patience, love, and love never dies, to be strength, strong, emotionally and physically as well. My corporate world has taught me how to pay attention to finer details, how to show empathy towards your colleagues, how to collaborate, and how to be disciplined and achieve. My motherhood has kept me grounded and has kept me closer to the mother nature. My corporate identity has given me the wings to soar high and live my dreams. There's a famous and very inspirational quote by Swami Vivekananda which says, Expansion is life, <coughs> contraction is death, strength is life, weakness is death. I, Bondana Bhattacharya, with immense pleasure stand in front of you and tell you that I am here to expand and refuse to contract. Thank you.